Hello students, in this video I will show you that how we can merge four origin graphs uh, to form one graph uh, in one project. So here you can see on the screen I have one, two, three and four graphs and I want to merge these origin graphs into one file. So let me first open the first graph. Once it is open, the first step we have to do is to bring all the four graphs in this same project file. This is one of the project file of the origin and I want to bring all the four graphs into this project. So for this reason, I will use an option which is called as the append. So I will go to the uh, file and I have this option here, append. I will select it. Now I will select the other three graphs that I want them uh, to be in this project. So in this way it will open, this dialog box will open. You can just click OK for that. So in this way you can see all these, uh, these three folders are created, uh, which means these three graphs are also now present in this project. Uh, now, uh, the second uh, step is that I want to merge all these four graphs into one window. So I will go to the graph option and there we find this merge graph windows option. I can use this open dialog box so that I can do the settings if required. So uh, here you see the first option where there is written merge and you have this option selected all in active folder. So here also you can see there is one graph appearing. So this is not the right option here. You need to select uh, all in project so that all the graphs in the projects, they are displayed on the one window. Now you can see uh, there is an arrangement setting. Number of rows are two and the number of columns are two, which are perfect for the four graphs that can be arranged in this square form. Uh, further, if you like, you can also change the page setting. You can change the width and the height. Although, uh, depending upon the number of rows and columns, it automatically adjusts it. But if you like more width or height, you can uh, change it. I will just click OK. And then you can see that I have the four graphs on the same window. Now, you might need to do the settings of the sizes of the scales and the labels because uh, there are the graphs, the four graphs had uh, different settings. Therefore, you can, you have to make the settings so that all the um, labels and the sizes of the scales, they are the same. Uh, so you need to change these things or you will have to make certain changes. Like for example, you can click the scale and uh, the best thing is that you can uh, do the settings for all the graphs individually. So you can uh, change the size of the scale. It can be like around, let's suppose I put it 50 so that it is more visible now. And you can also change the size here. You can change the size of the label as well so that it is clearly visible. Now 50 is not is very less. So let me make it 72 here. Usually in a graph, when we have a single graph, the sizes, uh, the, these values are very less. But once we have merged these graphs, uh, you might have to choose the high scale, high value, high size so that they are clearly visible. So in this way, you can uh, do the settings. So that they all look the same and your graphs are ready and you can also label them A, B, C, D uh, and do all the settings of uh, the plots and the labels. Uh, so this is how you can merge the number of graphs. You can also merge two graphs or three graphs or four graphs. In another video, I will show you that how we can merge three graphs in a vertical way so that they are arranged in a vertical way. So you can also do that. In that way, uh, in that case, you will have to do the settings of the width and the height. So I hope you have learned in this video that how we can merge uh, four graphs in origin. Thank you.